Welcome to the first virtual episode of Corn Fed Coaching. We have uh, moved online in accordance with society moving virtual as well. Um, so we hope you guys are safe and well wherever you are watching this episode. Uh, for the first virtual episode, we have two guests, uh, Frankie Diaz of LA Techers and Nancy Avisian of Bella Tech. Yeah, uh, Bella Tech and uh, LA Techers are pro clubs out in uh, LA for the sport of tech ball. Uh, tech ball is a hugely growing sport. Uh, we played it at the convention this past January in Baltimore and uh, we couldn't get enough. So uh, in this webinar podcast, they'll be uh, talking a little bit more about it. Hopefully uh, find it informational and uh, get some insight onto uh, the new trend coming your way. Um, so like I said, we're, uh, we hope you're well. We hope you enjoy. Uh, should we kick off the pod? Kick off the pod. Hey, hey, there we you. go. How are you doing? Not how are you? how are you? Good, good. Uh, we just got done doing a little show that we have um, just on live Instagram for the LA Techers every Wednesday. So, yeah, perfect. It's, awesome. it's actually me and Nancy today. So. Oh, perfect. There you awesome. go. We can talk a little bit about that too. A little warm up for you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be perfect. Uh, going on over there? It's good. It's uh, we have we had some nice weather today, so um, Jack's yeah, gonna get out get out there for a run. Uh, yeah, you sure? Well, <laughs> oh, I don't know about a run. I'm gonna uh, run to the fridge and get a beer. <laughs> get a beer and a run, like <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but last time we talked, it was it was snowing here. So. Yeah, and that was only a week ago. <laughs> yeah, it was snowing. It's eighty degrees here today. And now it's eighty. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. Is it going to yeah. continue to be hot or is it just going to continue to like be all crazy? It'll fluctuate from like 60 to 80 in the next like month. Yeah. And then it'll, and then it'll be consistently warm, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Days, right? Yeah, absolutely. But you're in LA, but you're wearing, you're wearing a hoodie and a jacket. So you well, must be I, used to that warm weather. I know, right? Um, I'm in uh, the Bay Area right now, so a bit up north. Okay. Uh, just throughout this whole quarantine thing going on. Um, but yeah, Nancy, who's going to hop on, she's in LA. Um, okay. It's a little bit cooler out here. It's going to start to get really hot though. Um, mm -hmm. On the news, which this will all come off. But. <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> I love your shirts, by the way. I, I can't wait to have one of those. Yeah, know, we got it. We've got you. I've got, I'm ready to uh, get them and ship them over to you for sure. Yeah. I've got a, yeah, yeah like, we'll go get those going. The corn fed coaching. Yeah, Absolutely. now we got now we got the time. I can definitely uh do you have the them uh, and send them over. Do you have the co uh, the convention shirt on, Jack? Is that the I convention? do. I actually give have it, the convention give shirt. Give us a spin. Oh, give shit. the people what they want. Give us a spin. Give the spin. You got it. Here we go. Can we see that? There it is. See? Look at that. <laughs> I have my balance. There tequila it is. and tech ball. <laughs> on tequila yeah absolutely where it all started where it all started yeah absolutely i love that guys who came up with that i was i, I was honestly it was me yeah. <laughs> I, I just came up with it on a win originally it was going to be tito's but then i was like ah you know what la tequila yeah. i'm gonna go with tequila and tech ball and tequila no it's perfect 
Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I just messaged Nancy. Hopefully, she'll hop on here. I don't know how it works. Quest. Yeah. So she 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 has the link, and then once she uh, hops on, we're we're trying to avoid all the. Uh, we've read some articles on the the Zoom bomb or whatever, so we're trying to yeah. avoid. Oh, you haven't heard about? You uh -huh. Got to get on Zoom more, Frankie. Dude, it's I the, know. Seriously, it's like <laughs> this uh, yeah. apparently, since the, obviously the, like the quarantine happened, everyone started using Zoom. So everyone That's hopped on. So they had a huge surge in their usership, and people like obviously are super technologically advanced. They started hacking in, so people would have these meetings, and people would just hop on and like interrupt the meeting and what. Yeah, it's crazy. So now that's why we have like a waiting room and then you're supposed to have a pad. You got to be cyber secure, cyber secure. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. I yeah. haven't needed any of mine, uh, my personal Zoom meetups, but I'll join them. So I'm glad you guys are handling this. Now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll take precaution. We'll take precaution. Yeah. Um, well, if you guys want to get started until Nancy hops on. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. Yeah, so let's go. So, yeah, go. No, you got oh. John. Go All right. Yeah, yeah we're uh, again. This is our first, uh, our first corn fed interview, so it, it might be a little shaky, but we'll we'll get through. Uh, uh, we'll get through it. So uh, as we do, we kind of get we uh, we jump in right away, <clears throat> jump in right away, and uh, um, we let you take over. So give us a little bit of your background, um, and then how you came up, how you got involved with the game, and then what you're currently doing. Uh, within soccer or uh, or tech ball yeah sure so um i grew up well i was born in northern california the san francisco bay area i uh, moved to mexico when i turned one um and my dad and his dad played professionally out there um so that's where my love instantly came from uh, i remember watching my dad when i was like three or four play um, and then we moved out, moved back to Northern California when I turned five. So, yeah, my career started in NorCal, uh, playing, you know, the Olympic development program teams for Northern California, um, high school, doing really well in high school and just the competitive teams. Um, and then I played reserves for the San Jose Earthquakes uh, my senior year of high school um, and played uh, – Pro for the Stockton Cougars, which was this indoor team at the time as well. Um, but then I wasn't really making any money with it. So I had this side job and it was like just a really, um, it was a lot of labor. It was like for Toyota, I remember. Um, and I had this like meltdown one day. I was like, what am I doing with my life? Like, this is a lot of work. And um, I just called my parents and I was like, hey, I want to go to Mexico and uh, try to do this whole pro thing. Um, so I went down to Mexico, uh, stayed with some family, Guadalajara, uh, Jalisco, in Mexico. And um, I remember trying out with like 300 kids and then cho them choosing three to stay. So I was one of those three that stayed for this club called Tecos in Guadalajara. And I did my time there uh, for about a year, less than a year. Um, I was playing reserves, um, Primera A, so right below uh, the main team. And um, it was just a lot of politics and I was young and I wanted to have fun and I started losing my interest in soccer. So I decided to come back to the States, um, get a soccer scholarship. Uh, I chose a school in San Francisco, full ride. Um, at that time, I already knew I wanted to pursue something else uh, possibly. So I studied film and TV and communications. Um, and so I transitioned into that. And I moved to L.A. Uh, a year in from school and started pursuing film and TV. And I've been in L.A. ever since and still played soccer here and there um, for fun. Good quality of soccer, futsal, you know, uh, outdoors, men's leagues and all that stuff. Uh, but my time with the professional aspect of soccer, I kind of stopped. Right. And I, I put everything into acting and film. and then. And someone who knew I played soccer uh, that works for the, co the same company for that uh, runs tech ball reached out to me uh, last year, late last year, and um, brought it up to my attention. She's like, hey, there's this new sport. Um, they're looking for uh, to build a USA team. So that's where it all started. 
I went through this uh, crazy month of um, uh, tryouts, uh, calls, and all this fun stuff. And uh, I was one of the three that got chosen to represent the U.S. in uh, the World Cup for Tech Ball last December, November. Oh, hey, Nance. There she is. Oh, she can't hear us. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm so hey. sorry. I was having some connection issues. Oh, you're No fine. problem. No problem. All right. Finishing up talking a bit about my life and tech ball experience. Sweet. That's the end of it. But, uh, yes, yeah, so tech ball. We went to the World Cup, myself and another teammate of mine who's uh, L.A. Tecker right now, Andres. Um, and this other girl were the three that were chosen to go represent the United States at the Tech Ball World Cup last uh, November, December. Um, dream come true, putting on the USA jersey, representing. Uh, obviously, we were very new to it. Uh, countries have been in it for about five years, and so they got a couple years on us. Uh, but we did really well. Uh, we didn't make it to the finals like we wanted to, but, you know, we plan on doing that uh, this year. World Cup and the ones to come to be a, a top dog on in tech ball. Um, but yeah, so I've been with tech ball ever since that. And that's been my journey with soccer and a bit about my life. So Awesome. Any, uh, any film credits we'd know? Film credits. Um, if you guys like video games. Don't be humble, Frankie. <laughs> Tell them what you've got. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> right here. Hold on a second. What's he got for us? Oh, he's pulling out some receipts. He's, <laughs> he's got some props. He, he came prepared. He already has them ready. He knew we were going to ask. He knew. knew, we were gonna ask. He knew. Yeah, but uh, it's just a, a fun one that I could tell was um, uh, Mafia. There's a Mafia franchise, a Mafia series for video games. And I was a cool like Cuban character um, in that whole franchise, Mafia 3. So that was a lot of fun. Solid. Yeah. Other wow. Things. So you had like a Godfathery character? Yeah, kind of. Oh, here it is. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it was under all this paperwork. So if you want to check it out, Mafia Three. Look at that. He's got it signed and everything. That's wow. Like... The cast. So I right after we wrapped my thing, I had them all sign it, which is special. But that's so cool. awesome. Very cool. All right. Uh, oh, go ahead, Jack. No, I was going to say, as Nancy's joined us, so we kind of just go through who you are and uh, kind of how you got into tech ball and everything like that. So if you want to go ahead and kind of introduce yourself to the people. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, actually, uh, Frankie is the one who was like the middleman that kind of got me into tech ball, actually. Um, <clears throat> him, I have a background in soccer, so... Um, I've played soccer since I was a kid, uh, played professionally in Italy. Um, I currently play for the Armenian women's national team. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and tech ball kind of came into my life, uh, beginning of this year in 2020. And, uh, Frankie and I met playing, um, at a futsal tournament. Um, and we kind of kept in touch from there through social media and, he got into tech ball and then they were looking for female players. So he kind of got like introduced me and uh, went out and kind of had my trial and that was it, you know, and, and I've been a part of the LA Techer since. Awesome. It's been a fun, super exciting ride. I think the transition going from soccer into tech ball is uh, kind of cool, especially I think like at this stage in my life. Um, it's been it's been fun. Well, we would we would be uh, remiss if we didn't ask. Tell us a little bit of uh, of the professional experience in Italy and uh, the Armenian national team before we dive into tech ball. Yeah, for you're sure. Just, you're just gonna brush right by that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I went from high school. I played Division One uh, college. So I did that my freshman year. I ended up doing like really well. I had like a record um, at school for most points um, with like goals and assists. Um, and then an opportunity came up to play in Italy for Lazio. Um, so I went out. It was, well, you know how NCAA is, you know, if you play professionally, you kind of give up your scholarship, you give up all that. So sure. um Playing professionally was always my dream. So when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, 
this is it, you know, I'm going to go for it. So I ended up playing um, in, in, in Lazio for a season um, and then ended up coming back and playing here in the United States. Um, we don't locally have any professional teams, so I started to like work full time, um, was playing in the semi-pro league out here. Um, and then the Armenian women's national team, we actually have not had a, a national team in quite some time. So it's been years since we've had a team and they've kind of been in the making of like reorganizing everything and, um, creating this opportunity for the, for the women. And so it kind of all, it's been like, I'd say maybe the last couple of years that um, there are a few people from the Federation that have been working really, really hard to get everything put together, scouting people from all over the world. And uh, I got, you know, they reached out to me and um, they flew out to LA, met with me. And we actually had our first camp in uh, February. Um, we played against Lithuania. That was our first game and we ended up tying one, one. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like this new, like, it's like a new start with, with Armenia and being a part of the national team, I think means a lot because it's more, you know, with, it's more so like just giving back and being an inspiration to all the young athletes out in, you know, a lot of these countries that don't have opportunities. Absolutely. Frankie, I think uh, she puts you to shame in the, in the soccer territory, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the transition to, to tech ball as well. Oh, as well, what tech ball is. Frankie, you want to give a little uh, kind of lowdown of what it is and how different it is to, really, to soccer, really, because the people watching this webinar right now probably have no idea what tech ball is. Yes. So if you want to... Uh, is the fastest growing sport in the last five years. Uh, started in 2014 um, in Budapest, Hungary. And uh, yeah, it's a bit, it, it revolves around a table, a tech ball table. Uh, you could play five different sports on this table, but we play tech ball, which is, um, you know, soccer based, no hands. Um, it's very difficult, it, I think. It's, it takes a very technical player. But um, it's very addicting when you do start to get the process and the hang of the rules of it. Um, and yeah, you can play singles or doubles. Um, there are currently 48 countries that are a part of Fit Tech, which is the Federation of Tech Ball. Um, and uh, it's just, it's an amazing sport. And there's been far. And our goal is to be in the World Cup uh, or in the Olympics, part of me, 2028. So that's our road right now. Yeah, and I can speak from experience. When we first saw it at the convention, um, me and John were all over it and we we're like, oh, yeah, that's going to be easy. And the first time he played was incredibly hard. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a shock for sure. But then uh, as soon as we jumped on, we knew it was, it was addicting. I didn't want to get off, especially when we, uh, even though we, we lost. Uh, Eight one to Brandy Chastain, so <laughs> it's okay. You lost to Brandy Chastain. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's one person I don't mind losing to. Yeah. Um. So talk about uh, kind of the takeoff in America. So obviously it started. It's kind of a, an international company uh, and in sport now. Um. So how did how did it start in America? And then how did you guys both get involved in the LA uh, area? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think that like, well, yeah, it, it, it originated in Budapest and um, they've been transitioning and uh, making their way into the United States. And it just so happened that L.A. was the home base for where it kind of is all starting and taking off. Um, <clears throat> but we are in the works of spreading it um, nationwide in the United States and um We've got a great team and, um, you know, there's a lot of exciting things coming, but um, it's, you know, in the short time that we have been around in Los Angeles, it's been taking, uh, you know, it's just, it's been taking off like crazy. So many people, like you said, like, it's just so addicting. Like we go out to these activations that we do all over Los Angeles and Orange County and 
We have people who just, um, you know, the reason we're out there is to kind of get people familiar with tech ball and have them get on the p- table and give it a try. And some of these people who come on there for the first time are like, well, let me follow you guys and see where you're going to be at next. And that's, you know, and it's just, they want to keep coming back. Um, so it's been amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so give the people a little bit uh, so of the rule breakdown. So obviously there's a table and then there's uh, mm-hmm. two sides. It's a little bit of the closest thing is like a little bit of ping pong mixed with soccer, I guess. There's no paddle, obviously, so you can only use your feet. Um, so talk about some of the rules and the, way, the different ways you can play. And um, two tries for a serve, right? So there's, you get two faults. Um, there's a line that you have to stand behind that you have to serve. You have to hit the other side of the table. You only get one bounce on that side of the table, on your side of the table. Um, and it's three, you get three touches before getting it over to, to the other, to the opponent's side. Um, and they can't be, where it gets tricky is it can't be consecutive uh, body parts. So you can't do like two rights or two knees, but you can do like a right knee or left knee. And uh, the other rule that makes it really tricky is that you can't return the ball to the other side with the same body part um, two times in a row. So those are the main rules that make it um, pretty pretty tough at the beginning. Um, Yeah. So a lot of times I think with the rules that we have is um, you'll find a lot of people like, so like what Frankie said is you can't do the same attack two times in a row. So um, just to kind of remind yourself what you did, because you get into the heat of the game and it's easy to forget. But so if I, you know, if we send the ball over with our head, we'll call out no head, like just to remind ourselves no head. So you know that you're prompting yourself that you've got to use a different body part on the next attack over. So you've got to stay in it mentally. Um, but yeah, we've seen people lose points because they forgot what body part they use and do a repeat attack. Um, yeah, and especially when you have long rallies that like we experience. Yeah, you really I think. Tournaments, you have long rallies and you kind of forget like, wait, did I use that in the last one? Because rallies could go up to, we saw like about a minute, you know? Yeah. So you're counting, you're talking to yourself in your head. Um, it, it gets a little confusing at times, but with, um, Doubles, you learn to, you have to have good communication with your partner. And that's when you start to yell out things like head, no head, this and that. But um, yeah. yeah. Again. Also, contrary to what a lot of people might see on social media, you are not allowed to touch the table. I know I think I've seen like when I first um, heard about tech ball before I joined, I was like, yeah, I've seen it on social media. I've also seen people like jump onto the table and like head the ball down. That's absolutely not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So as far as um, adults playing and kind of ex players and things like that, but um, if you go to towards like kids and youth players in development, it's not just technically. It's you're using communication. You're using your your, your soccer brain almost. So talk about uh, the things you guys are doing as far as in youth soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, we do a lot of uh, events with youth, youth soccer programs. We went to the LA Galaxy um, uh, event center not too long ago. Nancy and I actually went, and um, we showed kids how to play from ages. What were the ages, Nancy? Probably like six to seventeen or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, obviously, the younger they are, it's a little bit harder, um, especially with the height of the table. Um, but they absolutely love it. They have fun with it. Um, I think a good group for tech ball, um, to follow the rules would be a little bit older. So starting at maybe, I don't know, 12, 12, Mm -hmm. they're a little bit older and, uh, you get the rules down, but yeah, we do a lot of, a lot of events for kids, um, everywhere. And they always come and play with us at the beach too. So Mm, must be nice. (laughs) <laughs> we don't have a beach here a beach. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have we make it we make do we make do um yeah. so uh obviously it's growing and like jack said it's a good game for the youth and then obviously expanding past that right it, it's for everyone it's kind of a universal game um so talk about 
how you guys are doing with the LA Techers and explain kind of how that got started, what it is. And then uh, I know that, uh, not to take away your answer, but that there's a, a women's team now getting started as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. exciting stuff happening. Uh, you know, it's kind of, um, it's kind of nice because with, with uh, everything that's going on, like this, the, the nice thing is we have a lot of time to kind of um, collect ideas and work on all these things. But, but yeah, I mean, Frankie, if you want to kind of dive into what the LA Techers is all about, and maybe I can talk a little more about um, the, female, the female club. LA Techers um, is the first team, professional team, so we're considered professional tech ball players. Uh, we're the first team in the United States to bring tech ball to the table. Um, we are helping spread the sport uh, throughout the United States, um, currently reaching out to different states and trying to get tech ball involved in every state in the United States. Um, there are there were four of us, and now there are seven of us, uh, four guys, three girls um, that are part of the LA Techers. Um, yeah, and like I said, we're just helping spread the game right now, and we've already held two major tournaments for the sport that were very successful, one in Los Angeles and one in San Diego, one being doubles and one singles. Um, it's growing really fast, um, and LA Techers are just having a lot of fun doing it and spreading the sport, um, and that's, yeah, we're based out of LA, so. Is that, Frankie, is that something that um, the brand uh, wants you to do, or is that something you, you came up with yourself? So say if we want, if we brought Tech Ball here, they would want us to do something like Des Moines Techers, or is that something that you guys came up with just to brand yourselves? I think that's, that's what they would want, is to start a, a different club in every, uh, in every state, mm -hmm. so. We're just we're the first and we're considered also uh, the USA team for the time being um, LA Techers and the US uh, tech ball team is one and the same at the moment um, but yeah we're awesome um, and so let's talk about the uh... Uh, the women's game. So how, how did that get started and um, what's what's taken off with those ideas now? Yeah, um, we actually amongst uh, Carol, and, uh, Carol and myself who were part of the uh, the four before we had the, the newest three techers come on, uh, we actually had had like a few discussions about, um, you know, because the LA Techers um, w promotes us to um, to start our own clubs, you know, and um, luckily we do have the backing of LA Techers and Tech Ball and we have their support. So Carol and I actually had had a few conversations when that the club um, presentation had that had come up and we thought about, you know, I think having like an all females thing would be really cool, you know, to get to get women involved and um, because tech ball is super inclusive. Like you can, like you guys have seen, there's mixed doubles and there's girls out there killing it. So um, we were excited. And when, when um, it actually all, we, we started to talk about it during this uh, pandemic, um, you know, we've kind of put together um, the base and um, we're, we're talking to, um, a lot of people uh, that we have our connections with players that are have maybe gone to college already graduated or maybe they have a job and do their own thing full time. But um, outside of that, you know, there isn't a lot of competitive leagues. And if there are, it's only it only lasts for like a couple of months when you're not, you know, you're in your off season for college. Um, so that's kind of like our target right now, um, but we, we are including everyone. Um, but yeah, we're super excited. Um, we plan to launch um, our Instagram and kind of uh, let everyone know what we're all about and what we plan on doing with the female club um, and what our organization is all about. Um, so if you guys want to look out for that, we are called Bella Tech. And 
We're on Instagram under Bella Tech. And yeah, we're, we're super excited for everything that's to come. We really think that this is going to be something that's going to blow up and truly bring a lot of like females into the tech ball world. Awesome. We definitely make sure that we, uh, we plug that, that new Instagram and put it in this post for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. Um, Frankie, as we're kind of winding down here, do you want to talk about kind of the future? And I, I know obviously you said uh, it wants to be, or you guys want it to be an Olympic sport by 2028. Um, so how, what, what is, what's in the works? What's the, what's the game plan moving forward? How can people find out more about tech ball and LA techers? Yeah, so again, I, there's around 48 countries that are a part of Tech Ball, the Federation. Um, I believe it's around 57 or 58, Nancy. I, I believe that's the number um, of number of countries to have in a sport for it to be considered a Olympic sport. Uh, so we're almost there. Uh, won't be hard, I think, for us to get those remaining numbers. Um, Everyone's loving the sport. You see clubs from all around the world, the biggest clubs, uh, playing tech ball and using it as practice. It's great practice. Um, and especially during this quarantine time, uh, if you've seen any professional soccer player, a huge one, they're playing tech ball during this time with their family and just keeping up their skills. Um, LA Techers, yeah, I think we're going to just keep doing what we're doing. We work really hard. Um, we really enjoy what we do. Uh, Going to different states right now is the goal, spreading the game in different states. We just um, had uh, the new Miami Pro Club uh, get a table. So they're starting that up. Um, new York is starting up. I know we're in talks with Dallas. So it's just a matter of time, but everyone's really interested in the sport and you know, as addicted to it as we are. Uh, yeah, so 2028 is the goal. And I don't see why we can't be there in 2028. Yeah. Awesome. I'll make sure I'll make sure that I uh, brush up on my skills so I can be part of that team. You've got time. <laughs> yeah, I got time. <laughs> I've got time. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, well, thanks so much, guys, again for uh, hopping on and, and talking about it. We'll uh, we'll post definitely a, a few pictures and mm -hmm. videos of of what people can uh, get out of it and a more of a visual representation of the table and the, the rules and everything that go along with the great information that you uh, provided today. Uh, how we always end on, uh, on the corn fed podcast is you do your favorite soccer memory. Um, so it can be soccer or it can be tech ball. Um, we'll, we'll leave it up to you, your favorite soccer slash tech ball memory. Um, whoever wants to start. All right. Tech, that? there you go. Tech ball memory. Yeah, I've got a tech ball memory. <laughs> um, we actually were talking about it a little earlier today, but my favorite tech ball memory is when I did like this ninja smash, um, as we like to call it. Um, it was basically my first smash, and if you watch tech ball smashes, kind of like what it's all about. It's like that one super hard like power hit that you can get where no one can return it and it was honestly like i ju had just watched the video in the morning um uh, and got, got some inspiration from this uh player from japan and i was like he kind of did a different take of it and i was like i'm gonna try this today when we go out to santa monica and that's exactly what happened this guy that i was playing with for the first time sent me this perfect ball and i just did like a karate chop <laughs> and smashed on Frankie and Andres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was oh, oh. even better. <laughs> Karate job. So I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, that's like my, my my memorable moment in tech ball. Awesome, Frankie. Yeah. What about you? Mine is definitely hands down. Just being in uh, my hotel room and putting on the USA national jersey for the first time. I think that was the coolest moment and one of the coolest moments in life uh what an honor to represent the united states and just mm -hmm. walking into uh, the convention center where the world cup was the tech ball world cup was held in budapest and wearing that jersey was just the coolest thing so that is for sure mine and uh yeah i know we have a lot of just memories every day the whole team yeah. putting on music and having such a good time uh we were talking about that before this in our own little live chat uh just 
being out there, having so much fun doing what we do and playing tech ball and listening to music. So, absolutely. Yeah, always good times with the LA Techers. We have such a great group of people. I think we build and create memories every single day. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. Look, John looks like we're gonna have to create Des Moines Techers so we can uh, rival them. We'll get yeah, we'll get on it. We'll get on uh, it. Right. Like Nancy said, lots of time <laughs> to practice. Chop. <laughs> Karate chopping. Karate sure. chopping. <laughs> uh, Frankie, one. What? How is the World Cup every four years? The Tech Ball World Cup. Oh, currently it's every year. They're doing every year. Okay. Mm-hmm see what it turns into as we move forward but right now it's been we've had three so far oh awesome yeah so is our very cool awesome all right jack you got any closing closing statements no just thanks for coming on guys and i'm i'm sure that we'll uh meet again for sure Hopefully when this is all over, we can come out to L.A. and uh, challenge you both to a game. All right. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll practice the karate chop too much. I will. Us, okay? <laughs> all right, perfect. All right. Thank thanks so guys. much, guys. Right. See you later. Bye. Bye.